This is my top five POV angles to master. But stay tuned to the end, because it might be a little shred edit with all of these cool angles. <laughs> Right, everyone loves to film themselves shredding their local trail or shredding a trail with their buddies and capturing the whole day. There's a few little mistakes that people do get into when filming themselves, especially with POVs, on your helmet, on your person, on your chest, on your bike. There's a lot of little common ones, especially the chesty. When you're riding the trail, you're super excited, you click it in, you press record, get down to the trailhead, and you watch your footage, and that's all of the handlebars. It's the worst one. It's the most common mistake I see out there. So I'm going to help you overcome all these little mistakes and help you get the right angles for you to film yourself. Right, the most common place that everyone puts their action camera is on their helmet, on their head, where this is a natural gimbal. Your head's a natural gimbal. Your head's going to be super stable, so you are going to get some good footage. So when you click it in, you get ready, all good. You press record. And you're like, yeah, you get down there and you see just the trail in front of you. So to overcome that, especially with a camera like this one where there's no screen on the back, you don't know where it is facing or pointing, but a lot of these, these little action comes come with applications for your mobile phone. So this is a slave unit for that so you can see where this is looking, so you can adjust it accordingly. When you get on your riding position, you're going to be riding like this, you're not going to be riding like that, obviously. So what you want to do is put your helmet like this and you can point it, so if it's like that you can see it's just going to have your peak and the trail in front. So give it a move, up or down, to get the right riding position. I think that's pretty good. Right, another great position where I prefer to put the GoPro is under my peak, it's out the way, and it's definitely gonna give you a bird's eye view of what you're looking at out on the trail. So that is my favorite. Look how slick it looks. It don't look like a Teletubby. Right, this one is the bar mount. This is a great one to show off how rough a trail can be because it's not gonna be super stable, but it's gonna show you how rough it is. So you can have it facing forward to see what is coming up on the trail from the bike's view, or face it backwards and you can see yourself, how you react in a rough situation. It's a great way to mix up your footage. Right, this one is called the chest mount. This is a great way of capturing good action out there on the trail, but it can be set up very wrongly and I've seen it happen loads. I've seen a lot of down tube action and handlebar action, but nothing in front. So, a super easy way to get, it, to get it wrong, I know, but to overcome this issue, Get into your riding position like this, you can see if it's flat against your chest, you're definitely going to just get your top tube. So over exaggerated because higher is a bit better. So if you're in your riding position like this, move it up just like that. You can see kind of where it's going like that. And that's going to give you a better angle of the action happening. Your bike moving around, your friends in front, all the dust coming past you. You're going to be super stoked when you get down the bottom. That's good, but it could be a little bit shaky, and there's a great way of getting rid of that, and that is one of these. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you want super smooth footage, this is what you need. This is a gimbal, and this is gonna capture all your footage so, so stable. It looks like you're gonna be floating down the trail. You've probably seen this on YouTube all around. Loads of people like BKXE and Skills with Phil, they all do this in sex bike hacks, they all have one of these and the footage is super smooth and it looks good. I'm all about this. Selfie stick. Anything that is telescopical, just like this one right here. You duct tape it to your head. That's the key. You duct tape. You're going to need duct tape for this. That stuff right there. You duct tape it to your nut. Especially when you've got a camera that's super wide angle, you can capture a lot. You can capture your whole body and your bike moving underneath you. But if you set it off 90 like this, you can capture yourself and your buddy behind you in a train. Oh, it looks so good. It's a perfect angle. Right, I know it doesn't look smart, but that's not the thing. You're not going to see this. Only someone that's like, what the hell is that guy doing? But the end result is insane. It looks so good. Just feels a bit weird on your head. Just for a few minutes, you know, you just, just capture that quick angle, take it off. 
but you've got some real cool footage for the boys to watch. Just remember if you're using your dad's duct tape, make sure you use your pocket money to buy him another roll because you do use a lot of duct tape in this situation. Look at that. Yes. Right, number five. This one is a, this is a bonus one for you because I'm going to let you into a little secret of mine. You can find it on the internet, but it's super hard. This, my dear friends, is what I call the heli mount. This thing spins on your head and it looks nuts. It does add another dimension to your edit and it definitely puts a little bit more spice in there. But it's super easy to, to set up. You just screw this on, it's all homemade. So you get your GoPro, you put your GoPro on the end like that. What this end does, because you've got to counterweight all that. One side's definitely going to be heavier than the other. Screwed in, done. Put your helmet in there, done. Click it in. Hey presto, look at that. You've got a heli mount. Look at that. Spins around your head, captures loads of cool cool angles. So there you go, they're my top five POV angles and how to set them up properly. And here's a little edit from all of these angles. Thank you so much for watching this edit. And if it helped you, let me know down below. Give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any cool ideas, let me know also down in the comments and I'll get back to you with that. If you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to click this rad little globe right here and you won't miss another video just like this one every day of the week. If you want to know how to use your mobile phone and film something, click just down there. And if you want to know how to film and edit, self-edit, click down there. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up like. <laughs>